In a quarter mile, merge onto I-285 South. Come on, Sanchez! Welcome back to Crafting with Cos if you're back. So welcome to 2020. This is probably going to be my first project for 2020. And I'm going to be using um, some Dollar Tree materials as well as some leftover materials that I have from the holidays. And some materials that I already just had in my stash to create some fresh new home decor to just kind of add uh, some refresh to any space that you have. So if you want to see how I use some of these leftover materials as well as some Dollar Tree materials to create some stylish home decor, then let's go ahead and let's get right started. So I'm starting this project off with some old scrap wood as well as some ornaments that I had saved over from the holidays and some other materials to get this first project started. So I'm trying to take advantage of using some of the materials that I already have. And so here I'm just using some black paint that I've used in a previous project as well as some of the leftover wood that I used in a wood bench um, to create this decor for this table. So after the paint dried from all sides of the wood, then I added some bigger clear ornaments and some smaller clear ornaments from the Dollar Tree to add some decorative elements to the plain wood so you could actually put in some cute elements inside of the bigger glass ornament. For the next part of the decor, I started with some Dollar Tree dice that I painted about nine of them all black using some of the same black paint that I used for the wood table decor. the idea to use an old perfume ad from a magazine that I already had and I'm just going to basically kind of cut this to size so I can use this as my cover for the dice. After I made all my cuts, then I used some Mod Podge to basically use as wallpaper like I've done in some of my previous projects to cover over the different pieces of the dice. And after I got the puzzle pieces done, then I started working on one of the Dollar Tree frames to create a cute 
transparent tray or like a little display that the actual puzzle pieces could sit on top of. And I removed the prongs from inside of the frame so you couldn't actually see them so it would give it more of a clear look. And I added up marbles to each corner of the frame so it could have some height. For the last decor project, I used some of the paint that I already had, as well as some of the paint from the Dollar Tree. And I took this project outside to try my hand at the acrylic pour painting canvas. And so I should have actually mixed my paint with water but I had to move towards the end of the project so it could move a little bit more easier but I made it work in the end. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and hit that bell notification with all to see what I'm crafting next.